Look at the paper in your wallet. You think it is money, but it is actually a ghost. It is backed by nothing but a promise that can be broken at any moment. Now, look at the screen. This is not magic. It is the first time in history that we have replaced trust with truth. To understand crypto, you must understand the ledger. Imagine a history book that records every transaction, but here's the twist. No single person owns it, everyone owns it. And once a line is written, the laws of mathematics forbid it from ever being erased. People ask, what backs it? The answer is, energy. Just like digging for gold takes physical work, mining crypto takes computational work, computers solve complex puzzles, converting billions of dollars of electricity into a single, unbreakable, digital coin. It is stored energy. Your government can print infinite money, making your savings worth less every second. This is called inflation. Crypto has a hard limit. For Bitcoin, there will only ever be 21 million, no king, no president, and no army can change that number. It is absolute scarcity. Before this, digital money was just a file, like a photo. You could copy and paste it, sending the same dollar to two people. The blockchain prevents this. It creates a digital object that cannot be copied. It is the first digital object that is unique. If you want to destroy a bank, you blow up the server. If you want to destroy crypto, you must turn off the entire internet. There is no headquarters. The database lives on millions of computers simultaneously. It is a hydra that cannot be killed. When you swipe your card, five middlemen take a cut. The bank, the processor, the Visa network. Crypto removes the middlemen. It is just you and the person you are paying. It is financial intimacy restored. So why does the price crash and soar? Because the world is still deciding what this new truth is worth. We are in the discovery phase. But the math does not care about the price. The code keeps running, tick-tock, block by block, regardless of your fear. You can stay in the world of printed promises and shrinking value, or you can step into the mathematical reality. The system is changing. The only question is, will you own the future or let it own you?